Denise Francis Robinson and welcome back to Live Creative and today we're working with mandalas. What is a mandala? Mandala is an ancient Sanskrit word that just means circle and it's a sacred circle because in so many cultures across the world mandalas are used for different purposes but Today we have come to recognize that mandalas are so helpful when we create mandalas. Mandalas help us to relax. Mandalas help us with our meditations. It, it, it can actually be like a meditation. Um, mandalas help us to gain insight into who we are, into our lives. And mandalas also can help in actually creating or setting an intention and creating transformation in our lives. Of course, my most favorite purpose for doing a mandala is that it's just plain lots of fun. And um, those are the benefits. I'm just so grateful for that. So welcome and I'm so happy that you are here and you will be with me for the next few minutes to have that kind of experience. So it's time to warm up guys. Now, my apologies, I did not mention that you needed a Sharpie or a pencil or even a pen in the supply listing at the top of the video. But not to worry, you know, pause the video, go grab one and come back because I'm just gonna be showing you how to use simple lines and shapes to create a very organic mandala. All right, so guys, I changed my mind. I'm not gonna use a Sharpie. I'm just gonna use this market, this marker here instead. Um, if you want, you can work with your journal and um, you know, that's your choice, but I'm gonna be working with just the watercolor paper or if you have it, hard stop paper, all right? So let's go now. We start with a circle in the center of your paper. And I'm going to do what's called a spider legs, you know, I'm just going to make a few lines coming off of the circle. So these are my spider legs. How many legs does a spider have again? Is it? Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> that's just a side thing. Okay, and then from there, I'm just going to make these semicircles around the spider legs. And you know what I like about this this style of warming up um, with mandalas? It easily becomes a meditation, you know? And it starts out like a flower, but you know, who knows where it's gonna go after this? So that's my first set of lines. I'm gonna do another group of lines. What you will notice is that I'm working with repetition, you know? So, you know, you repeat whatever lines you made initially you make them in the same way going all the way around your um your mandala you can turn the page you can switch switch you know turn it a little bit so it, it becomes a little bit easier for you to handle all right and so we go and we continue the exact same thing going all the way around now what you notice doesn't it look like a flower already and it's just simple lines i'm i'm just using going around and around um, I'm going to try something different here. Put some lines in between these shapes here. And I continue doing that again all around, not stopping until I reach to where I started from in the first place. You know, that one looks kind of wonky there, but guess what? Not a problem. It's just about warming up. Nothing is going to be perfect in the warm-up stage. All of this is just to kind of get the mindset orienting around mandalas and just let everything come to you like, you know, intuitively. Just let it just let just let lines flow. And I'm always referring to that childlike wonder or those days when, you know, you didn't even really think about how you did something, if this was going to be right, if somebody's going to like it. You just did it. You just did it because it was fun. And as I go around my mandala with these other little shapes here, I'm completing that. So far, so good.
and this guys was just all just lines and simple shapes and just the, the action of doing this uh, has just made me so relaxed so one of the things that we know mandalas are known for in terms of when we we construct them or when we make them is that they help us to relax so mandalas i guess then you could then say mandalas are great for healing so anything that makes you relax is a kind of a healing um a healing balm right would you agree with me So now I'm going to put away the markers because I've just finished using lines and shapes and that was really cool. You know, I had fun. I had a little bit of relaxation and a little meditation, uh, a little extended meditation there. Now I'm going to use some paint to do another warm up. And with the paint, I know I said pick your favorite three colors, but you know, do as I say, not as I do, because I can never find out which are my favorite colors. I love every color there is. <laughs> all right. So I have put all the colors on my palette here, the red, yellow, blue, you know, orange, purple, blah, blah, blah. But you pick three colors that are your favorites. And I'm going to continue to demonstrate warming up with paint now. And you have the choice to continue in your journal or on a piece of cardstock or watercolor paper and because i'm using watercolor paper i'm just going to be very liberal here i'm going to wet the paper a little bit as i wet the paper a little bit it will allow the water colors to kind of bleed into each other um and you can also you can be using acrylic paint for this it doesn't have to be watercolor because it's watercolor paper so i'm going to start with my little circle here and then I'm going to take another color and I'm going to go around the edges like that. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing this really freely, you know, just dipping in the paint and grabbing that brush and just making this circle. Because remember, mandala actually is a Sanskrit word for circle. So even just doing this action, that's a mandala. Remember the mandalas can be seen anywhere you know in our in our environment you know our flowers as i showed you at the top of the videos you know often demonstrate mandalas to us um shells the sun the moon um outer space the star constellations you see that as well and so this is my free warm-up with color of the mandala and i can continue this until you know i go all the way out to the edge but you know what i want to do i want to keep some of the edges so you can see the circle as clearly as possible now as the, the paint dries you can then add more color to make it stronger yeah and then once you think that you have enough color down on the paper you know you can continue with other ideas to make the mandala even more interesting so this is just like the the, the, the first phase um once this is dried up i'm gonna now dip into some contrast colors and just like with my previous mandala i'm going to just start making shapes and lines to build it out to make it a little bit more interesting and just to have a bit more fun um when i get real quiet i know because i'm teaching i I'm, I'm talking while i'm doing this but when you're doing this on your own and you're really quiet i want you to pay attention to the thoughts and the ideas that occur for you that come up that later on you can add to your journal um to just gain some insight from okay so let me continue this um let me see what kind of shape i want yeah i like these wavy shapes you know reminds me of the ocean 
or some people might say that they're, they're jumping the line is jumping or it's bouncing that's that's good too because that reminds me of the fun of um of just like being a kid the energy of a kid um i'm gonna add some more color in between and i'm gonna continue a little bit more and get back to you with my finish warm-up then the warm-up doesn't have to take much time of course that i did did i say that the warm-up is just really to get you in the mood to get those creative juices flowing and to get you excited um, about your next art making adventure and there you have it guys this was our warm-up mandala using lines and then the mandala using free paint almost with brush strokes to emphasize um, our color choices so guess what i want you now before we get into the next video to grab your journals and just write up what came up for you as you were doing the warm-up around this concept of mandala see you soon